Good morning. Are you excited to have me answer one of your questions this morning? I hope so, because that's what we're gonna do. Okay, this one comes in from Rebecca Linton, Helgit. She wrote, when you are committed to personal development and growth, how do you deal with family members who are unwilling to make changes to improve their own lives? They're always complaining, but unwilling to make any change. It is emotionally draining and you can't completely avoid them because they are family. Rebecca, we all can relate with this. We all have relations like you described. How do I know? Because very few people are actually committed to their personal development and growth. I mean a fraction of a fraction of the population. I know it seems hard to believe. It's really hard for me to believe, but this has been my business uh, for the last 25 plus years. So I know this sad fact intimately. Everyone has wants and wishes and hopes and needs, but very few actually commit to the growth process needed to achieve dreams and wishes. That is why we call those who do the exception. Rebecca and everybody watching me now, you are the exception. You have to just accept that, that everyone else is normal. You are the one who is different. You are the crazy one, the rebel, the maverick, the troublemaker, the round peg in a square hole, the one who sees things and does things differently. So number one, let that be okay. Number two, don't judge them for not wanting to be the exception. Don't judge them for wanting to stay normal, to play it safe, to stay in the comfort of the pack. Do as most everybody else does, get along and go along. You see, in my younger years, I was far more dogmatic about things that if others weren't a certain way, the way I thought they should be, of course, it made them weak or less than. I don't see it that way anymore at all. Everyone is on their own journey. We are all walking our own path. You never know what someone else's journey is about. Each of our lives is like a movie. Some people like action adventures, some thriller and suspense, some rom-coms, some tragic comedies, some horror flicks. Is one better than another? No, it's only a matter of opinion. They can all be great experiences. Every life experience is a matter of opinion and they can all be great. Let other people live their movie without your critical review. Your greatest pain, frustration, and difficulties with others will stem from you trying to get everyone else to be how you think they should be. That's not fair or wise. You wanna grow past that. Number three, all you can be is an example. Be the best star that you can be for the movie that you're in. Then you might just do as Rocky or Indiana Jones or Luke Skywalker or Forrest Gump did for their movie. Inspire them to be a better character in their own movie. And finally, I've learned how to love but not like. This I think is one of the greatest life wisdoms I've come to. I can love a person but not have to like them. I don't have to like their opinions, their viewpoints, their beliefs, or their perspectives. I don't even have to like their life choices, but I can still love them. I can still love them as a member of my family. I can still love them as a member of my team. I can still love them as a neighbor. I can still love them as a fellow human being who has a heart. It goes back to the second point. You just, you don't know their movie. You just don't know their storyline. Watch with fascination, not frustration. You probably didn't agree with or like Vita Carleone's life choices, but man, didn't you just love Marlon Brando in The Godfather? It was fascinating to watch. So be sure that you write that key point down in your Darren Daily Journal. You don't necessarily have to like someone to love them still. And this is probably most especially true for your family and those that you work with every day. You are probably not going to like most people, but that shouldn't keep you from loving them. So Rebecca and everybody else today, I hope those four points helped. Know that you are the different one. You're the exception, let that be okay. Number two, don't criticize someone else's movie slash life. Watch with fascination instead. Three, just be a great star in your movie. And four, you don't have to like to still love.